And there's another thing that I wanted to uh, talk was, well, that thing was the another another scan, and um, this is kind of farther in time, right? This is not uh, this is not Renaissance. Um, and I was looking at the sculpture, and I was thinking, like, what what is this? What is uh, why? I get such a strange feeling about this sculpture because everything that I do see when it comes to just the figures, right, the, the kind of the pose and um, the dynamic and um, the gestures, all of that, it, it's working for me. I, I, I like the complexity of it. It's just that when I was looking at it, it was just like, it feels like it was done by a person who's not very good at sculpting. Right, it's just uh, such a strange uh, thought to have because when when I look at it, it's not the kind of thought that should pop into my head, especially if I look at the face here, for example, the the um, the the hair, the face, the the leg, all of the, those 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 elements. They're just so nicely done, right? There's just so much energy in them. But the surface, right? That's that's when I realized that what gave me that feeling of. Um, some kind of incompetence when it comes to the the surface is the bumpiness that I saw, and that led me to think again about the the whole treatment of the surface. Something that I do talk about in the class in the tutorial. Um, this whole bumpiness, whether this is a style, right? Whether this is something intentionally done by an artist, or is it some kind of a limitation of an artist? And I couldn't just believe that somebody who was able to do such a strong piece was so poor at making the surface, uh, right? Or he was his style was such that the surface just doesn't really read like a style; it just reads poorly like poorly done surface and so just like with um, all the not all but some of the scans that I do have here I went online and I started to well study and compare the original with the with the scan and I did find the high resolution of the of the original and yeah it's very interesting to <laughs> to look at it and then just uh, realize some things so Clearly, we do get to see some of the um, kind of hammering detail, right, on the on the bronze. The it's kind of noisiness, right, that that we do get to see, and the, this kind of sharpness in here. So to me, that's the that's the style, right? That's what the person was making. This is his style. This his this is his way of executing things. But everything else, in terms of the surface, it looks just tight. Everything here is really nice. It's just that some of those um, hammering details that we get to see on the surface, but everything else is just uh, just amazingly well done. Right, the kind of tightness in here of this, for example, muscle. And then I was looking at this and I was just like, how is this the same thing? How is this the same sculpture? Like where is this sharpness that I get to see on the <laughs> on the on the sculpture, the original sculpture? Why can't I see it here? It's like is it just purely because of the lighting? Is it purely because of the photograph? And then I looked closer closer at the leaf. And I was thinking to myself, why is this leaf has such a crisp line in here and I don't really see all this crispness anywhere else, right? There's just something off about it. And so I went back, I went to see, <laughs> to check the sculpture and I realized that the leaf itself is actually going farther, right? Into the inner thigh. It gets to the point of um, like, well, if we look at this muscle, the big one, the big volume, it goes almost to the well, a third of it, right? And if we compare that with the uh, uh, with the with the 3D scan, it doesn't go anywhere near that. And in fact, there is another muscle in here, another volume in here, right? So the, on the sculpture, there is this volume, and the leaf goes somewhere up to here. Well, not maybe that much, but somewhere this close, right? And we don't 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 get to see it here. So what I realized was that. This is, yes, this is a scan originally, but the person who made the scan, or perhaps a person who was asked to clean the scan up, did a whole bunch of extra work that just made this, the, the sculpture just ugly. And that's the feeling that I get, it's ugly, right? It's like, how, how, how on earth can I get a sense of ugliness when I look at something so strong, right? Like, if I saw that in real life, I would be, 
well, not perhaps not amazed, but I would be just definitely, I would be standing there and just trying to, well, not even trying, I would just be standing there absorbing all of that and having good feelings about it, right? It's like, okay, this is amazing, this is really cool. Uh, but looking at the, uh, <laughs> looking at this scan here, I'm just, my mind is just, in go goes in different directions, right? On the one hand, yes, it's really good, but on the other hand, why is it so ugly? Why is it? And that's the reason why, because the person who made the cleanup just added a whole bunch of things that made it makes the the the, uh, the scan is in some sense unusable. It makes it look it makes it usable uh, uh, useful, I guess, for uh, learning the poses, right? The kind of dynamics behind the poses. That's amazing. That's really good. But if this is for uh, learning, not necessarily learning anatomy, but just kind of understanding the surface, right? Again, organic surface in three D. It's the execution of the surface, right? It's the it's the the way we we use the anatomy first and then the way we treat the anatomy, we treat the surface to make things just tighter, to make things just cleaner in some sense, right? Cleaner just like Michelangelo was making his surface clean. Like look how amazing that looks, right? Not just looks, but just the feeling that we get. If we look at this leg, just it's just so breathtaking, right? Because there is anatomy, there are all these uh, tools that he used to make this, uh, to make to make this sculpture, right? The, the anatomy, the dissections that he that he went through, well, not went through, but he was doing, right? Studying, sketching, drawing, all of that. So this is everything that he knows, and then the treatment of that surface, the tightness of it, right? The kind of the cleanliness of it is just like I said, it's just breathtaking. If you look at it for some time if you spend looking at it, even on the computer i mean in in reality it's just uh, it's just insanely good but if just on the computer if we look at it if we study it it, it does make time go slower <laughs> that's just that's just the fact and then if we go back to to this everything just kind of falls apart right the the, the sculpture itself is really good but things are just so strange in here like why is there a triangle in some in here like what is that if this is a muscle why is it so poorly done why do i see all those bumps in here why is the 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 leg in here if i rotate the the um, the angle this way why do you get to see all those crazy bumps in here is this the style my argument is that no this is not a style because why would a so naturalistic figure has this kind of a style for the treatment wouldn't the style be something more interesting right not just the bumpy surface where uh, if we remove this bumpiness things would just look better and this is my my argument look what happens clay polish bum <laughs> so look at the leg right look at what happens this bumpiness on the on the lower leg when it goes away doesn't this look better Right, all of this noise in here, all the strange things that we get to see here. If I just use a little tool to eliminate all of that, doesn't this just make this whole piece so much more better looking? Right, the feeling is no longer this confusion of why is it so just nasty on the surface? Why would the person who makes such a strong piece decide to make such a nasty surface, right, this? versus this this those situations this, this detail in here i don't even know why they're here there's something was on the scan but even if i just uh, uh, use the clay clay polish it just makes things tighter right look at the uh, look at uh, at this line in here and look at the way the surface connects that to me looks almost the same as what we get to see here look at the tightness of this line right and the way the surface connects like michelangelo was doing that all those years back right this is his way of treating the surface right and I, and we get to see that if i if i use um a tool here in, in in ZBrush, but before that, it wasn't this. It was just some nasty-looking lines, some bumpy 
surface with no interaction, almost no interaction between each other, right? So if I eliminate all of that, just look how much more interesting this whole piece is, right? On in terms of the feeling that we get, not just the way um, the way it looks, but the feeling, which is which is what we want, right? This is what we need. It's just the engagement, not just with our eyes, but the engagement with everything, with our thoughts, with our emotions, with our feelings, all of that. And so, in some sense, the class was um, was about that, right? Just trying to understand what makes the surface look good. Why should we perhaps strive for something this and should get away from something from, from something that, right? From this uh, noisiness, this bumpiness, this exaggeration of things, the exaggeration of, uh, of musculature. When, if we study masterpieces, we realize that we don't really need to do all this extra work. We don't need to worry about it right we need to be focusing on something else not doing anatomy for the sake of uh, showing the anatomy but using the anatomy as a tool for something else right and just understanding the, the tools within the tool that we are using to treat the surface the way that it would evoke a more pleasing more pleasant feelings right to create this kind of tightness that we do get to see on in this case for example um, on uh, Michelangelo's pieces right so just something that I wanted to uh, perhaps talk about, maybe discuss and just, uh, yeah, I guess how it can be connected to the class.